Texas Apollo. Here we are live. Wow. As quickly as it is. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I'm so happy because we have a very, very special guest, François Picard, uh, from uh, Liberation du Stress, who's going to be talking about tapping, which I've always talked to you about how important it is through face yoga. And that's every two weeks we have our lives. And now uh, once a month I have a, a special guest. And now this is an extra special guest because it's something that I really, really believe in and that I think everybody should at least try tapping, or in English we call it EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, and that's totally part of face yoga, releasing stress, allowing to reprogram our muscles, and allowing at that particular point to, uh, to reduce wrinkles, sagging skin, but mostly reduce that those different stress elements. So Francois is going to be talking to us a lot about a lot of things. Let me just as I mentioned on the Facebook page, but I just wanted to re reiterate. So nice to see you. If you're here, please say hello. Uh, if you're watching this later on, just a hashtag replay. Let me know if you have any questions. Francois can answer them. I know he's very generous. Actually, I met him two years ago. I met him at a, at a, a little workshop that he had in his house, and I found him so warm, so gentle, so generous. Hello. And it's so funny because in my head, I said it would be wonderful to do something with him one day. And here we are, <laughs> two and a half years later. How amazing. Life is amazing. Life is a gift. It's unbelievable, the things that uh, that life can bring you. So we're, re we're going to be talking about a few things. It's going to be EFT, a simple and powerful method used by millions of people. What EFT does to our nervous system, so important, but the two essentials of and components for doing EFT. The EFT points of short rounds, three ways to do EFT, and how to find our EFT targets, the two fundamental questions, how to know if we are saying the right words in our EFT rounds, and examples of everyday sentences that we can to allow to help us to de-stress our lives. So if you're here, please say hello. I'd love to see let me see if the comments, because I know it takes a minute or two before the comments appear. And I don't see anything. So hashtag later on uh, replay. And Francois, let me introduce you because it's something that a lot of people in Quebec are not too familiar with. That's why I wanted to have you. But in the English round, there's a lot of people in the US, in Australia, uh, a bit around the world. So Francois Picard is a passionate EFT enthusiast. He has been practicing EFT over 15 years to help people free themselves from what is holding them back. A trainer at heart, and I'm a student, he teaches everyone, including therapists, how to maximize what they do with EFT for themselves, their loved ones, and those who will assist in their wellness journey. He learned EFT from Gary Craig, the creator of the method and is an accredited advanced practitioner and master trainer with EFT International, one of the largest, if not the largest association of certified practitioners in the world. So he knows what he's doing. <laughs> and today he's going to give us a crash course on the basics you need to know to be able to use EFT as an emotional first tool, kit, sorry, first and first aid kit for everyday stresses and life shocks. Most of this material is in French, but he offers individual sessions for support, coaching, problem solution, both in French and in English. So welcome, François, and uh, merci encore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary, uh, for, for this uh, invitation. I just want to make sure there is no echo here. Uh, yeah, thank you for this invitation. I'm really happy to be there. Uh, well, I'm a teacher, I'm a trainer in my heart, so I love to share my knowledge and my, my experience. It's a little ta challenge for me. I used to do uh, level one in, uh, in three equivalent of three days of training. So, uh, and then, so I want to give the basics of training, what, uh, what uh, your audience uh, need to know for, uh, to, do, uh, to do EFT uh, efficiently. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Yeah, so EFT is used uh, by millions of people around the world. Uh, it, it, it is used by, by doctor, psychologists, mm -hmm. psychiatrists, uh, psychotherapists, uh, nurses, trainers, teachers, mm -hmm. coach, and even professional athlete, uh, Olympian mm -hmm. athlete. If you look, uh, if you search on the internet, you can see uh, Olympian athletes doing EFT before their competition. And, and mm -hmm. I even saw a, a Formula One pilot doing EFT on their finger you, with the oh, with the, the, mask. the, the face uh, yeah they cannot do EFT on, on, on themselves but they uh, they the, that one that pilot that was doing EFT on, on, on his finger oh, in, in, the, in the cockpit uh, so uh, in the cockpit so so it's it's used by millions of, of uh, people why because it's simple it's it's powerful and essentially what EFT does it calms down the nervous system so um and and if you look at the the studies that uh, look at the ph physiology the, the physical studies about EFT whatever they look at whatever they look at uh, stress hormone in the saliva brain scan uh, even expression of gene uh, it's all all the studies say the same thing it's calm down the nervous system let me so, just tell you how I discovered EFT. I just wanted to pull one yeah, thing. Go. I started my business at 52 and I went to the States and I got, took um, I took some coaching on how to build my business. And they're EFT practitioners themselves. Pamela Bruner, yeah. I'm her coach. I don't know if you know her, but mm -hmm. I had also a coach as um, Alex Ortner. That yeah. was one of my coaches. Mm -hmm. So that's how I discovered the whole world of EFT. So it was, it was just wonderful to be part of these people. So... When I discovered you in Quebec, I said, oh, this is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, just wanted so, to say. Yeah, essentially, EFT, the starting point of EFT, it's a, a emotional disturbance. So to make it simple, it's a, an emotional disturbance. And then you need the two essential components to do EFT. You need to be there with your emotion. You need to connect to your mm -hmm. emotion. So it's the connection with your inner world that is the the first essential component of EFT and the second component of course it's the tapping you tap on specific points on your body so it's not any points it's points related to meridians so the mm -hmm. same the same meridian that are used by chinese uh, in chinese medicine by acupuncturists so the acup acupuncturists they will use needle to stimulate the points but in EFT, we don't use needle. <laughs> we just tap the points. And that, that, is, uh, that is causing a stimulation in the meridian system. And then it calms down the, uh, the nervous system. So essentially, that's what EFT um, is. Um, so what are those points? Uh, so there's, there's many points you can tap. I will present to you the, uh, the short version. Uh, essentially, it's nine points. So the first points, it's the uh, the side of the the arm, uh, the um, the side of the end, okay. And you tap, um, you tap, uh, you can tap on one side or you can tap on the other side. And it's it's uh, it's also called the the karate chop point because it's the 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 where you hit when you want to break a, 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 a wood or or bricks. And if you want to, if, if there's points that are on both sides of the body, you can stimulate them uh, at the same time. So for, for this one, it, it could be oh, how I do this. Uh, uh, you can just tap the two points together and that will do the okay. job. So that's that's the first point. The second point, it's a uh, beginning of the eyebrow. So it's really where the eyebrows start. You, you use two fingers and that will do the job. And essentially you tap between five to 10 times each point this, this the other points is the next point is the um, side of the eye so mm -hmm. it's, it's really where the bone is start in the middle of the eye that's where you tap with two two fingers you cannot uh, miss it and then you have under the under the eye same thing in the middle where the bone starts you have under the nose um uh, so it's it's the the, the the space is small so you cannot miss it uh, under the mouth, it's really uh, between the mouth and the, the, chick, le, 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 the le chin. Mouth, the chin, right? Chin. Yeah. 
And then you have under the collarbone. So maybe it's the point that is most difficult to, to, uh, to find. You have the end of the collarbone. You just go, yeah, you have the, you just go in diagonal, uh, maybe one inch, and then you tap with the, your five fingers. And That's you tap. why we lost you. Uh, we well, see I, 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 I show, I, because I show you the point. Okay. <laughs> That's why. The other point is under the arm. So under the arm, it's really uh, where for the woman where is the bra, uh, and also um, for the men, uh, just uh, the at the same level of the the nipple. And the last point, it's on the head. So I don't tap on the on the head. I I do a kind of um, I like if we play piano. If you uh, like um, drain. What's the difference, Francois? Playing the piano or just tapping? What's the well, difference? Well, it's it's just because it's not fun to tap your head like this. It's 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 more gentle doing. It's 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 just a matter of sensation. You okay. want to have um, uh, you want to be gentle on your on your head. And, okay. and I, I I experience the difference with people uh, tapping or doing the the gentle uh, piano uh, effect. They love the piano effect, so it's okay. just a matter of uh, yeah. So that's that's the that's the nine points, and uh, so there is many ways you can use those nine points. So the first way, it's the easiest way. It's mm -hmm. what I call the crisis mode. So the crisis mode is essentially uh, you are on the phone and you got a bad news. Mm -hmm. Boom, uh, your best friend is dead or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it's really a, a really big shock in your life. And then you are the, the emotional disturbance is at your highest uh, level. And then what you do, you just take your finger and start tapping. So you start tapping. You just start tapping. You don't have to say uh, a word. You don't anything because uh, remember the two essential thing of EFT is the connection with your emotion, with your inner world, and the um, the tapping. So if you are in shock and you have uh, a big uh, emotional disturbance, yeah. you are connected to your emotion. So the first condition is met, and then you just have to tap and, and you tap round and round uh, and round and round. So here you can uh, when you stop the round, you continue. And inevitably, uh, uh, the system will calm down. It's it's, uh -huh. it's it's working all the time. Does so, anybody have any questions? Meanwhile, I just want to make sure if you have questions, Francois is going to answer them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to interrupt Francois. I just want to make sure that if you're watching this later on, hashtag replay, ask Francois a question. There, yeah. There's a little echo, Francois. Yeah. Okay. So I will. Uh, I will just um, put my sound a little bit down. So can you talk just to, to make sure I understand you? Much better. Much, much, much better. Much okay, better. Yeah, yes, my, my speaker was uh, too high. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So again, if you have questions, I'm just trying to see the screen. I don't want to cut you, but I just want to make sure that the, if you want to say hello, please let me know where you're from. And uh, Francois would love, love to hear from you. So yeah. again, back to you. So that's the first way to do EFT. The second way to do EFT is what I call talk and tap. Mm -hmm. So, or vent and tap. <laughs> so essentially, uh, you you are in emotional disturbance. You just vent. You talk and then you tap at the same time. So it's easy. Uh, you just have to tell the story of uh, what's happening to you. Essentially, th there's two things you say the most. What disturbs you and how do you feel? So when you vent, essentially, you you say those you answer you try to answer these two questions. So for example, oh, I had a meeting at, at work uh, today, and I did a presentation, and then everything went went well. I was with my colleague and my manager, and then and then one of my colleagues pinpoint a little mistake that I did, and instead of saying to to me privately, he say, he pinpointed in front of my manager, and and then I feel so angry and and also ashamed. I wanted to run away from the conference room, and so it's it's vent and tap. So that's that's yes, another easy way okay. to do uh, EFT. The third way to do EFT is what we call the standard way. You build a sentence. And there's there's a, a structure way to do EFT. So the sentence essentially there's two parts. The first part is the uh, EFT target. So mm -hmm. the EFT target essentially you answer the question: How do you feel? So it can be a physical sensation. 
tightness in my throat, uh, pressure on my chest. And <laughs> so that's that's uh, one thing you can put in your EFT target. You can put an emotion, uh, fear, sadness, uh, angriness, I'm angry, I, I'm disgust. So there, there are six basic emotion. I work mostly with, with um, a four. And also you can put a feeling. I'm, I, I feel powerless, I feel uh, guilty, I feel ashamed. So I made a distinction here between emotion and feeling. So but essentially you answer, how do you feel? And then you will, you will, um, you will start with that, even though I feel sad, even though I have that, that tightness in my throat, even though um, I feel guilty. Uh, and then you say the second part of the phrase, it's uh, what I call a positive intention. And by default, we put we, we want to put love and acceptance in all this. So I love and accept myself. Some people, uh, it's difficult for them to say that. So we can say, I love and accept myself more and more. So, um, and then you say that phrase on uh, when, while you type on your uh, side of the eye. Three times, even though I feel sad, uh, even though I have that, that tightness in my throat, even though I feel guilty, whatever you choose, one of the three, uh, I love and accept myself more and more. And then you say that three times. And also uh, the other points, it's what we call the reminder phrase. The reminder phrase, you remove the positive, you remove the even though, you just keep the EFT target. I feel sad, I feel sad. And then you, you are connected to what you are saying. I feel sad. I feel sad. And then you you said it for for all the points. Do you think we can do an exercise? Yeah, we can do an exercise. Uh, essentially, I will. Uh, I, I, do you I, want to finish everything and then we do an exercise? Well, essentially, the the the, the EFT target. It's how do you feel? And the second question. There's two basic question in in EFT. It's uh, what triggers you. Uh, what bothers you? So if you can answer to these two questions and you put it in your EFT target, you are in business. And and people at the beginning uh, are saying, well, Francois, am I saying the right words to uh, to do EFT? You, It's not the good question. Am I saying the right words? It's not the good question. The good question is, uh, are the words that I'm saying describe well my inner world, describe mm -hmm. well how I feel? If you are answering yes to that question and the best person to answer that, it's you. If you are answering yes to that question, you are saying the, the right words. So to, for the exercise, uh, of course, when you do EFT, you need to be precise, but uh, because we don't want to use the feeling of everybody and do a big phrase, uh, what I, I suggest to your audience is to find something that is bothering them. Uh, something that happened maybe uh, yesterday or mm -hmm. and then uh, put words on how they feel so they have the trigger and how they feel and that's that's to to that they will connect even though we will say generic uh, words so uh, the phrase the phrase I suggest is even though I feel that way uh, because of this so that's 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 the word I will use but that way, because of this, each person in your uh, audience will think about uh, what bothers them, how do they feel, and how do they feel they can put a, a number on that uh, from zero to 10. A zero, it's uh, I feel anything. And 10 is my emotional disturbance, it's at the maximum. So I suggest for your audience right now to try to find something that disturbs them and and connect to how they feel and and we can do around just to for to yes. experience what uh, what they are exactly so, Please. um you can you can so you will be my my repeat uh, person yes okay okay so uh so everybody side of the arm uh even though i feel that way even though i feel that way right. because of this because of this yeah I love can it. I give you, but can I give you my situation? I have something that's yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. If you have something, uh... okay, okay. It's been a year that my sister-in-law passed away, okay, and it's been really, really difficult. And she died at fifty-eight after three cancers. Okay, wow. And it's um, it's very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we had a um, service last Sunday for her, okay. and it's um, it's just very difficult. 
Okay, so right emotional. now your emotional. If you think about that, right now your emotional intensity. What what number you can you can put on that? Seven. Zero. I'm okay, and ten. It's uh, maximum. seven. Seven. Okay, so just be with that while you do your your uh, EFT, uh, and even if we will use generic word, your consciousness will be with that situation. Yeah. Okay. okay. So even though I feel that way. Even though I feel that way? Yeah, because of this. Because of this? Yeah. I love and accept myself more and more. I love and accept myself more and more. Yeah. Even though I feel that way. Even though I feel that way? Yeah. Because of this. Because of this? Yeah. I love and accept myself more and more. I love and accept myself more and more. Yeah. Even though I feel that way. Even though I feel sad. Yeah, because of this. Because of the death. Yeah, I love and accept myself more and more. I love and accept myself more and more. Yeah, so beginning of the eyebrow. Because of this. Because of the death. Yeah, I feel that way. I feel sad. Yeah, side of the eye. Because of this. Because of my sadness. Yeah, I feel that way. I feel that way. Yeah, under the eye. Because of this? Because of this? Yeah, I feel that way. I feel sad. Yeah, under the nose. Because of this? Because of this. Yeah, I feel that way. I feel this way. Yeah, under the mouth. Because of this? Because of this? Yeah, I feel this way. I feel sad. Yeah, under the collarbone. Because of this. Because of this? Yeah, I feel this way. I feel this way. Yeah, and under the arm, uh, because of this. Because of the death? Yeah, I feel this way. I feel this way. Yeah, and on uh, the, the head, I love and accept myself more and more. I love and accept myself more and more. Yeah. You can close your eyes, you can take a deep breath. Normally I tell the people, okay, take your time to, to see what's happening inside you. Sometimes you can have images, you can have other feeling or same feeling, or you can have words. And this could be, there's a way to use that as the next uh, EFT uh, target. Yeah. So how do you feel now? Calmer. Okay, so if you go back to uh, what you thought at the beginning, you told you told me that it was a seven, the level. Uh, if you just go back there, and then you tell me uh, what's the number now, what it is. I would say five. Okay, good. Yeah. So that's 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 a start. So and EFT, uh, yeah, it it works. Uh, Sometimes you need uh, persistence. You need patience. Um, and sometimes it, it can do miracle in minutes and it's amazing. Uh, it has for me, it has yeah. for me because when I started my company, I was going through a lot of things that I was scared of. I had yeah. never knew how to build Facebook, uh, you name it, web pages. Yeah. And I was Overwhelm. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. It really, really helped me so much. Yeah. And even on an everyday basis, even my my daughter lately, and she's eighteen, and a lot of banks uh, like anxiety with school and not going to school and all of this. Yeah. It really helped her a lot. Mm -hmm. Good. So it's it's I find it's a life tool. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, it's like an emotional toothbrush. <laughs> You should do it uh, every day for anything you you are disturbed and and then uh, it's uh, you just need your fingers so you don't need sophisticated machine you don't need a therapist to to do no. it with you you can do it yourself and it's so powerful yeah and some of them that I work is I have a wellness program in businesses I tell them to go in the bathroom to do it. If they're not, if they're shy to do in front of people, yeah. you can teach them. I always tell them, teach them, show them. I mean, they also need, everybody needs this, but they're yeah. all shy. I say, go then, go to the bathroom. It's going to be okay. There's there's other ways to do EFT uh, without being uh, like this in front of the people. You can just 
do with the fingers. That's other point you can use. You can just tap. That's the emergency point here, the collarbone. Yeah. So it's it's more uh, it's more discreet. Uh, you you can you can tap uh, you sure. can tap uh, your collarbone and uh, it's it, it's it's help calm you down and you so don't have to do the, the whole thing. I just wanted to ask you the finger one is to put on this side or inside or outside. What's it's, the uh, when you put your your uh, hand like this? It's the uh, the side on on. Uh, it's the inside. Yeah, so it's really at the the beginning of the. Oh, let me. Uh, so the thumb beginning of the, the, the the nail. Uh, beginning of the nail. Yeah. So I don't know if. Um, yeah. Here? Okay. So yeah. this is the inside. You nail and uh, you tap just uh, near the the nail. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. And you can do okay. all the points, um, and you can do also it. You you can you can try your uh, yeah. You can do this also without uh, having people saying you or what are you doing. And, uh, exactly. <laughs> that's a very good point. Thank you so yeah. much. I think that's it's very clear. People are going to be comprehend even more how to, yeah. and that those are the steps that they really needed just to clarify, and so they can watch it later on. Uh, on yep. uh, replay, uh, again, I'm really insisting, please ask the questions to Francois. Yep. I'll be able to tag him on Facebook. He's going to be able to answer. Yep. And uh, I'm sure he's going to be uh, just to guide you. If you need also some information, some sessions, you can be able to contact him. I'll have all his links on my Facebook page, Face Your Passion. And um it's a he's a wonderful person, people. He's uh, very warm and very uh, a very down to earth. So I think that's one of the things that I wanted to bring forth also for people to get to know you. Thank you, thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Did you want to add something else? You wanted to finish with something? Well, else? essentially, if there's something uh, that people needs to remember, is the two essential component of EFT being connected to their inner world and the tapping. And also the two essential, the two basic questions they need to uh, to answer: How do I feel? But also, what triggers me? So if they uh, just just remembering that, and 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 understanding that they have the basics to do uh, to do EFT. I think so too. I think so too. And then to go on further, if you really need assistance, he does everything by Zoom, right? Hey. Yeah, well, I, I can. I, I have office in Laval, Quebec. So uh, some people like to be uh, in, person. in person. So I can I can uh, receive uh, for individual session there. So whatever people ca can need training or ca if they want uh, for, for both of us working together on a specific issue, I can do that in English. Uh, so I have a big accent, but uh, people <laughs> are able to understand me. <laughs> yes, they do. But one other thing too. Yeah. He also gives courses in EFT. He has during the year, uh, he sends uh, invitations by, by email. He gives different courses depending on the beginners, the different, the different steps, just three steps, if I'm not mistaken, Francois, one, two, three, level right? One, level two, and I'll also do certification. So for someone who wants to be a practitioner, I can I can do um, uh, certification. So I'm, I'm a supervisor, uh, mentor for EFT International. So, and, and what, what's interesting with that, if they can take the level one and two in English with mm -hmm. other trainer of EFT International, and they can decide to come to me to be uh, supervised, to be uh, to be certified. Okay. And and like I said, I can I can work with those people in English too for the, the, the certification. Thank you, Francois. Okay, thank you, Marie. Thank you so much. So okay, and thank you everybody to be to be there and uh, yeah. And tap, yeah. Yes, so tap. Enjoy the tapping. <laughs> Enjoy the tapping, and uh, yeah. So it's a powerful tool at the the tip of your finger. So um, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's a good it's tool. It's such to know. a wonderful tool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Francois. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye, everybody. Okay. See you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. We're going to be having another. We're going to be. I'm going to be doing a Facebook live on the posture. How posture is so important to align your energy and to align everything that has to do with your head and um, your, uh, your your head and all the all the aspects. I'll be talking more into more details. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.